Hi, my name is JW and this is my path to OSCP. It's been one week of me returning to the labs and uh, I've gotten off to a pretty rocky start, I would say. Um, I'm sort of surprised and at the same time not surprised. Um, <clears throat> I knew I had a long pause um, between these lab sessions. I mean, I was only in the labs effectively for three weeks because first week was uh, just going over the lab materials and then three weeks of cramming the hell out of those labs. Um, so three weeks of practice and then effectively three months of not being here. and. Uh, so I shouldn't be surprised that I'm finding it difficult to basically uh, get on, get back on that bike and start pedaling. And um, it's, it's kind of hard because I remember how I was, for example, on the last week uh, of my labs. I was hacking away. I was confident. I had everything was muscle memory, I was typing in commands uh, like there's no tomorrow and that's sort of the mentality of who I am in the labs and now it's not, that doesn't correlate with my current uh, capabilities because I'm feeling rusty. Uh, things are taking more longer than I expected. Uh, during the week, I just started my uh, week off with just going over uh, which machines I had previously gotten and started basically checking whether I could get back into them. And it's sort of really boring. I mean, I was effectively doing what the blue team guy would be doing uh when I handed my lab report or my penetr penetration test report over, uh, these are the holes. They would go over my lab report and just try to replicate everything. And it's not exciting at all. It's basically follow path. Don't think, just follow this. And it was really boring and I wasn't feeling it. So on the third or fourth day, I decided that screw it. Uh, I'm just, I need some fresh meat. Uh, so I started looking up um, the new hosts. There were a few new hosts added to the public network uh, because during my uh, off time, uh, they did some, well, not major rehauling, but quite a lot of rehauling of the IP space. Uh, they're now more evenly spaced out in this subnet. Uh, and also they added machines, uh, changed configurations of some old machines and so forth. Uh, so I decided, what the heck, I'm just going to go and recon uh, some machines. And uh, that went okay-ish. Um, as I said, rusty. So, but that just meant that I would read the uh, Nmap manual page again and again and again. And uh, come up with uh, the optimal solution for me. And uh, I did not automate it. Good job, good job. Um, I did, after like the fourth machine, I did start writing a uh, script for that, but not from the get-go because I was basically just not remembering all of the tools. Uh, it took me two days after um, I started recon on these new machines to even remember the name of Nikto, the web, web scanner. I mean, that's such a core tool that it should be like there. If you spot port 80 or 443 or 8080 or whatever HTTP sounding port, if you find that, then after initial sort of manual groping, if you want to see what version of the software it's running, is there something clearly there uh, that, for example, if you spot WordPress or whatever, then Nikto should be right on top of your list of things to do because it's such a wonderful tool to find things like 
uh, forgotten uh, like test ASP or uh, install.php or something like that. That sort of uh, things that are easily automatable. That if I was doing it manually, I would just write a bunch of different file names and then write check for all extensions and do that. But Nikto does it already. And it's invaluable uh, and gives quite uh, nice feedback also. Um, I did get one new machine already and that felt quite good. Um, it was a simple, I mean, it was a simple machine. So it was a web penetration uh, for me. Um, then currently I'm working on, uh, well, anyone in the labs will know probably which machine I am referring to this CTF type machine that's clanking its chains. Um, but anyway, it's a CTF sort of machine. It's sort of still the case that real life is still a bit interfering in my lab time. And, uh, Mostly, I see that from lack of energy after work. Uh, this sort of sounds as a woe is me kind of thing. No, it's just a statement of fact that uh, coming back for, uh, from vacation and uh, other people in my team who are in va on vacation still uh, just means that there's um, somewhat more to do than during my last stint in the labs when we were rolling on all cylinders. So let's see how this goes. Um, yeah, one good advice I got from, um, uh, from a guy I met uh, in the States, um, thanks to my previous videos, he just said to me, just, you need to take it easy and go back and look at the materials. And that's exactly what I need to do. I need to just, there's two sets of materials basically I need to go over. Uh, one is my uh, previous lab report, because uh, that's also something that I think changed between my previous attempt and this one is that previously it was just that document your labs and you might get some uh, um, points for this. But now it's been revealed how many points you will get and so forth. and Basically, one thing you can also do is, uh, or they say that you should document only 10 machines. Uh, above that, you won't get any extra points. Uh, but before, I all, all documented all 27 machines I got. Uh, so there's plenty of material for me to quickly browse through in my lab document of how to reproduce these steps so I get into the same mentality of uh, how did I work back then. Uh, then also, I need to quickly sk skim through the lab PDF itself just to familiarize myself with all of the tools that are mentioned there. And I think that that should, that should do it. Um, on another note, um, trying to bring some value also instead of just, uh, just bemoaning how, how sucky I feel right now about my <laughs> progress. Uh, I got a really good tip from that same uh, same friend I met in the States. Uh, basically, uh, he found this... I mean, I had already linked to some of High On Coffee's uh, stuff on Nmap and so forth, but I did not spot this uh, pen test cheat sheet uh, on their website. At least I don't think I've linked it. Uh, because as I was watching, uh, as I was reading through it today, it was a really good uh, resource on uh, on just uh, all of the things that you basically need to do the labs uh, nmap uh, smb whatever sm snmp smtp hydra john and all of these uh, very good uh, very good resource so check out uh, i will link it in the blog post so if you're just watching this on YouTube, I'm going to request that you click the link to the blog post to get the link. Um, because I don't want to just repeat whatever I write in the blog post. 
in the small YouTube description video. Uh, so I would rather write that in one place with actual formatting instead of just text. Uh, also, one sort of uh, disturbing thing I've noticed recently uh, on the IRC channel, because I've been using IRC for a long, long time, uh, so it was natural for me to join it uh, once I basically confirmed my original order in, in early February. Uh, I joined the Offsec channel, uh, because back then they also had support on IRC. And now they've changed from uh, being active on IRC uh, to using a web-based support. And I really like it, because basically uh, it usually gives me sort of uh, better confidence that they will have statistics on support and they will be able to uh, give better support seeing the demand and so forth, especially since I've been in support roles myself so I can appreciate the things that might be happening um, behind the scenes. Uh, also I've, I've gotten good support from the web support so I'm, I'm uh, overwhelmingly I'm pro that solution instead of just some guy chat um, guy or girl uh, chatting to me on IRC query um, but it also means that basically mostly the only thing that any of the admins do on IRC is uh, direct people to support or tell them to not to cuss and that's about it. Um, but I think that that's, it's sort of good that people understand that they should go to the web support and not expect support uh, on the IRC channel. But I've also noticed a growing trend of people just asking for hints all over, like all the time. Just anyone doing this machine, give me tips. Anyone doing this machine, give me tips. Anyone doing this machine? I've been doing that for three days. I can't get anywhere. Could someone help me? Like directly asking for certain specific machines instead of general questions. And in general, hints are... I'm not sure if they're forbidden, but at least they're frowned upon. And there's a specific uh, command for the IRC bot that specifically says that hints should be asked from the support and should not be uh, talked amongst students. Obviously people do talk in private chats uh, behind the scenes, but uh, it's sort of uh, still discouraged uh, to ask for help on specific machines. And I sort of get that. I, I wrote about that and I blogged about that, how to ask for help uh, in a previous video. And it sort of really irks me. Um, rubs me the wrong way uh, when people come to the channel repeatedly like hey anyone doing X I've not I can't get through X and even worse if someone tells them hey you should probably contact support they basically take it as if I had given them the finger and told them to F off like what the hell, man? You are paying for this course. This course, one of the things you are paying for is support. I mean, they are the professionals here that are being, being paid. I'm assuming Offsec pays their guys. Uh, they are the ones that are being paid to help you. So it's really odd to me that people still come to IRC and just ask direct questions about specific machines. Especially since there's the forums. Uh, because if you post on the forums, when you post it, uh, the OFSEC admins also police that. So if you write any spoilers, they're able to redact them and like touch, just type in spoiler. So anyone seeing that won't be spoiled. And you won't be able to ask for to specific information and that's good but on IRC there's no filters so people can just ask whatever they want like hey I'm doing coffee cup I have 
low privilege shell. Uh, I'm trying to escalate via MySQL. I'm trying to use this Metasploit module. I can't seem to get it to work. Anyone want to help me? Like, what the fuck, man? You just told us the specific thing you're attacking, how you're attacking it, and so forth. And there's no backseas on IRC. Once you press that enter, it goes to the server, it's out there. If you paste your password, it's done. If you spoil the channel, it's done. No one can do anything about it. So when, when someone or myself suggests to you that, hey, you should probably ask support, it's not to say to you that, hey, fuck off. It's also to say, don't spoil us, don't spoil anyone. Because uh, I, for one, I don't know if this is happening to everyone or am I somehow getting special attention because I am quite active on the channel helping people with general questions. When they ask general questions about, does anyone have good tips on PrivEsk in general, then I will give them usually two links to PwnWiki and uh, Gottmilk's Linux PrivEsk um, tutorial. And that's it. I don't need to tell them that, hey, look for these, look for these, because those are already out there materials. I can just give them links. So I at least get fairly often, um, minimum once a day, I get someone asking, hey, how are you doing? Hi, I'm good, doing fine. Hey, have you done uh, teacup? No, I haven't done teacup. And that's the mild version. The more aggressive version is, hey, I'm doing teacup. I'm trying this and this and this, this and this and this. Can you help? I'm like, I haven't gotten teacup yet. Oh, sorry. Yeah, thanks. Thanks. Please go read. Please go see how to ask questions. I will link it. Although I do have a fairly good gut feeling that if you're watching this or if you're reading this, then you're probably not one of those people. But I don't know. People have mistakes always. <sighs> sorry, ranting. I am sorry. I will try to be more positive next time. Go to the blog post, read the awesome cheat sheet. I will link it and I will link the how to ask questions. Thank you.